Welcome my friends, we're talking about the new dragon attack, so I'm gonna walk you through it. This is a sketch, and then we'll see the live action. This was from Harry, so this was a sketch, but look at this guys, look at the detailed, this is what's required to 10v10. He's got a step one, hog, lure the CC, gonna lure it out, and then you notice step two, he's gonna put the archer healer, poison the loon as it comes out, do the archer healer twick, trick, and then, um, going to bring in the bowler bounce, the BK, and the baby dragons. Now you know what's going on here. The bowlers to funnel, see at the dark spell factory right there, it's, it's to funnel up on the corner. And then he's gonna bring in his uh, BK and the bowlers and they're gonna take down all four air defenses and then he's gonna drag it. Now, that's not the end of the plan. Here is the final skit. So here comes the eight dragons that are coming from the three o'clock side and the loons that are becoming from the flanks at six. Now those loons are to take care of the archer towers because those archer towers will be hitting the dragons as they come into the expos. So that is why it's needed and the plan is perfect. Of course, this white section here is gonna be cleared by the kill squad. And there you go, my friends, gonna get the job done. And what happens? Well, lo and behold, definitely what happens is a big awesome three star. Yes, indeedly do. And we're going to watch it very very right now in fact and where is it mr hooligan showing us how it's done so let us see look at the army comp here he's gonna lure the cc just like the step planned there comes the cc now if you don't know this is the healer trick if you put two archers together with a loon um they will lock on now you have to make sure the actual um the archers are close enough together so that the heal spell um, will lock on. Here, right when they're taking damage, the heal, come on healer, come on healer. <laughs> there it is, again, you gotta put them right together. It has to be two archers and that is guaranteed to stay there. Now look at this, Bowler Bounce is gonna get that and also the Bowler's gonna come down and get this barracks. Now the Tesla did throw him for a loop, I don't, um, actually I knew he, no, this was a scout. He knew the Tesla was there. So that's why the baby dragon is there to create the funnel. Here comes the king and again, um, it's mainly the bowlers are gonna get inside the core. It's okay that the king didn't get in. Now, you could have actually made the king go into the core. He probably was hoping for that, but um, it's okay. Doesn't matter because look, lo and behold, the queen is getting the job done. Now let's pause it. You already noticed the steps have been completed. This is very helpful. If it helps you to sketch it out, then do it. But the sketch is there. All the air defenses are down. The queen's getting huge value. And of course, look, that is not doing any damage at all. Here comes the dragons as we speak. And with her ability, the queen's gonna get quite a bit down um, on this side. Queen ability goes down and gonna take down one more archer tower and get at least one shot on the inferno. And look at this, my friends. Beautiful stuff coming in from the dragons. And here, Again, according to plan, pause it. Bring in the archers. He realized, you know, if you didn't bring in the loons for these archer towers, what's gonna happen is these dragons are gonna take so much damage, they're not gonna be able to get it done. Amazing stuff from Harry. Very solid attacker from Harry. Very skilled at what he does and understanding pathing and look, Loons are decimating, my friends, decimating, because dragons, unfortunately, can be a little dumb. Unfortunately, they stepped around the base, and then they didn't kind of push into the core. So what that means is they're, it's gonna take them a long time to get to that expo, um, but it's okay. You know, they have plenty of tank, and with the new updated dragons, that they are doing much better. And of course, the, queen, the, this, the dragon strategy was always there even before the update. I've done queen walk dragon attacks. Many different attacks have been used using dragons. So again, they can be used very nicely. And look at this, my friends. Look, even though, even though the hound popped, it's not a big deal. He's got quite a few dragons left. And the base, yes, there's only, um, I mean, there's this archer tower is gonna cause some problems, but all that's left is the expo, the archer tower, and the Tesla. That's all you have to worry about, honestly. Um, the inf multi-inferno doesn't really do any damage to dragons, they're just, they're just too powerful to, um, for it to matter. Yes, it came down to the wire. Again, even on a non-max base, with this plan that was perfectly executed, by the way, still was able to get it down. And you know, guys, look, I mean, three dragons up, you gotta give that props. Very nice, very nice stuff. And you can drag in max bases. I've shown you those videos, but anyways, beautiful stuff. So again, I showed you the sketch and you just have to execute. So if it helps you guys draw out something, visualize it in your head or somehow get the job done um, for, um, 
um, for it to happen. Now, the only thing I would have said, you could he could have made the funnel better, um, but that Tesla popping kind of lured the king away uh, and wasn't able. The king wasn't able to get into the core. If the king got into the core, the queen would have dropped. It would have been more decimated. But a great attack. Um, and give it a go. You can definitely use the healer trick on the archers and you can definitely use dragons with the new update. And yes, you don't even need max heroes, but my friends, my friends, there it is. So we are back with another Town Hall 10 attack, this time using La Loon. Yes, I have a, I also have a hog coming up, so be sure to stick to this. Yes, not totally maxed out defensively, but pretty close to max. So tough stuff here nonetheless. We are going to do, that's why you do a test wall breaker. Anyways, gonna do a hero push into the core, get a lot of value here. Man, this is giving up way too much value for the queen, and the hound is not even gonna do anything. Look what the queen is gonna get. Inferno, Expo, no, not Air Defense, and gonna get a Sweeper as well. Very powerful stuff. If you can look for that value there, that's a good indication to use the Queen. Oh my goodness, the Queen steps around. What is she doing? Wow, that pathing was very unfortunate. <laughs> she did not get the Sweeper. Oh well. No matter. Sometimes your Queen goes bonkers, right, my friends? But anyways, you can tell. Let me pause it. The funnel is there. The king and queen have done the stuff. So all that's needed is a good air deployment, and he's coming in at this side. Now, you could um, come in at tw um, at six if you wanted, but I actually like his entry point because it's kind of swooping around. You're going to encounter the queen first. That means you can put the rage down, and your pups will be up a little live longer. Um, they'll be tanking a little bit more. Does it make sense? See right here? See as the queen encounters the hound CC with the skeleton spells they drop. If you came at six o'clock, I gotta pause it. If you came at six, you wouldn't be able to do that. It would be very hard to kill the queen later on, or much harder. Here comes his loom port placement right here. Things are looking brilliant. He's got spread out loons all going and gearing up towards that elusive inferno tower and very nicely done. On the back end, you can tell what he's got. He has the extra heal spell for this tough section here in the middle, uh, but because he has the heal spell and there's no Inferno Towers, it's just going to go down very, very nicely. Great attack, and he's got a couple back. He's got one back in Loon. He's going to put that one in now, and that's just going to help with these main bulk of Loons, but look, the final heal spell. If you go back and watch that attack, he's very patient on the spells. He does not put the heal spell over the um, Inferno Tower. He, he realizes he doesn't need it. He needs to save the heal spell for this southern six o'clock se uh, section because that is the toughest. Now, he did, I mean, it, it came down to the wire, but again, Town Hall 10 attacks are really tough, and this was Michelle. Actually, I believe Harry hit this one. Actually, I know he hit this one. <laughs> you know Harry, the fearless leader. Um, he, I think um, he has uh, multiple accounts, <laughs> but very nicely done from Michelle Harry himself doing the nice dirty work on the triple. Now that is a hero charge using the skeleton spell. Again, you know, you know you can use that because look at the value here. See how it's, it's pretty easy to get into this section here with the king funneling and the queen behind and wall breaking in? very easy to get in there. Um, that's a good sign to use that sort of strategy. And you can get the queen down by using a rage and uh, the skeleton spells and uh, even the pups with that would take it down. So we're gonna move on to Minkus Maximus and he's taking down, yes, not totally maxed out. Everything actually is maxed except the Infernos it looks like, the king's only level 35, but gonna use the um, a very interesting strategy. Golems, Valkyries, and the Hog. So giving you some options. I know people wanted some other besides uh, the La Loon. But again, with the new buff of the Hogs, even going to be able to a little, little bit stronger. And let us see his entry point. Okay, I see what he's doing. Looks like he's just going to plow right to the King and Queen. He's going to wall break in. And then he's going to put the jump right over the uh, Expo, um, right over the Air Defense and the Queen and the Bomb Tower. That way everything's going to funnel in nicely. And then on the back end, going to have the Hogs to get the job done. 
Yes, there's a Hound CC, but we already knew that. But because the, the Valkyries and the King were able to get in there, very nicely done. Now, why not bring bowlers in that situation? Well, with bowlers, you're going to need some heals and freeze. With the Valkyrie strategy, you don't need that. You just need a rage. Their job, they have enough tank to last them that long. And so on the back end here, going to be able to um, get go kind of plow right through this section. Now, I will say, some people like to bring Freeze for the Inferno, but since it's only level two Inferno, I kind of like not Freeze. He brought a Rage and the Heal um, to get through this section. Uh-oh, oh my goodness, guys, this is why a Tesla, look at that, let me pause it. This Tesla could really cause damage. Imagine this was a Max Inferno and there were maybe bombs around here. He would have lost way more hogs. So again, funneling is everything in this game, my friends. But even with that, he was still able to really take down this base very efficiently and with quite a few hogs left. Very nicely done. So again, bowlers aren't always needed. Loons aren't always needed. And this base was definitely susceptible to the hog. And we can go back and, and, and t I can tell you why. Um, but a very nice kill squad getting the job done. Yes, not totally max, but this is a tough base still nonetheless. And the reason why it's tough because those defenses maxed out cause a big problem. Very dangerous indeed. I'd rather have max defenses, um, everything else but the Infernos and Max Infernos and in, say level nine defense. Does that make sense? Anyways, so again, bowlers up here wouldn't do the job. You would need a freeze, you would need a heal and stuff to keep them alive. And since you need those strat spells to get that um, done, you can back in the hog. So look at the back end, it's a little weak. You've got the air defenses, it's the anti-lalo base. And the susceptible thing about these anti-lalo bases is usually the back end's a little weak. And since he's got all his air defenses here, he probably more than likely has his spring traps up here to the north. So as the hogs come in here to the south, he's not gonna lose a lot of hogs. He can rage and heal up in this section, which he did. And then he can just a final heal spell he can use after this inferno tower and really get the job done. So again, look for those bases. Again, these anti-lalo bases are susceptible to the hogs and we're gonna, I'll end it there, but if you see that, try to do the hog attack. I mean, that is definitely an option for you to do. But my friends, I think I've done it again. I've given you some good content. Now this time, not straight Lalo, but hey. But hey, ho, hey. <laughs> Anyways, appreciate you stopping by Clashology School. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a subscribe if you want to. Follow more and um, make sure to come to Twitch. I've been streaming a lot on Twitch. I'm going to keep plugging it. Twitch it up, my friends. Twitch it up. Thanks for tuning in. Halo out.